Alrighty, so I spent about 15 minutes tossing my beans <laughs> uh, back and forth between various colanders. Um, they're still a little warm, but uh, they're definitely below 100 degrees, so I'm not too worried. But you can see, I mean, there's some variability in the colors. Um, there's, you know, certainly some darker ones like right here and some lighter ones, but they're all fairly dark. Um, just to give you an example, so here's a couple that I guess when I dumped them in the frying pan uh, didn't want to be roasted. Here's one that's just barely got any color. Here's a couple that probably made it a few, yeah, maybe about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes, and then I probably flicked them out of the frying pan. And then here's what the final product looks like. In comparison, most of these are pretty dark, but you can see there there is some variability in the color. So that's what you're looking at, and uh, it does make a mess. You can see little flecks. Uh, it's called chaff, and um, it's not too bad while you're roasting. But when you're done, this whole countertop area was just covered with brown and black chaff. So uh, it's easy to clean up. You just sweep it up. But anyway, there you have it. Uh, that was about 20 minutes of, uh, of roasting, and i um, pretty sure these are going to be pretty darn strong, which is the way I like it. So, um, you want to let them sit for a day, you know, in a, in a I put them in a, a, you know, a coffee bag with the one-way valve. Uh, let them sit for a day before you actually start making them, although I've made them, I've made coffee like a couple hours later, just to, to try it. And, uh, I mean, it tastes like coffee. Um, so, anyway... That's a wrap, and uh, happy roasting.